Hey there everyone, welcome back to a brand new episode of Let's Play Undertale. So, just so you know, <laughs> right off the last episode, I was looking for a save point for hours. I didn't find any. So, we're just going straight into the next one. So, let's do it. Asgore? Watch it. Man, here I was looking for a save point, it was just right there. Whatever. This is the barrier. This is what keeps us all trapped underground. If, if by chance you have any unfinished business, please do what you must. Now we're gonna continue. <clears throat> I see. This is it then. Ready? A strange room fills the light. A strange light fills the room. Twilight is shining through the barrier. It seems your journey is finally over. You are filled with determination. Human. It was nice to meet you. Goodbye. What? <laughs> Sorry! What a miserable creature torturing such a poor and innocent youth. Do not be afraid, my child. It is I, Toriel, your friend and guardian. At first, I thought I would let you make your journey alone. But I could not stop worrying about you. Your adventure must have been so treacherous. And ultimately, it would burden you with a horrible choice. To leave this place, you would have to take the life of another person. You would have to defeat Asgore. However, I realized. I cannot allow that. It is not right to sacrifice someone simply to let someone else leave here. Is that not what I've been trying to prevent this whole time? So, for now, let us suspend this battle. As terrible as Asgore is, he deserves mercy too. Tori, you came back. Do not Tori me, dreamer. You pathetic whelp. Oh, da damn! Damn! Holy shit. <laughs> Toriel went in! You pathetic whelp. If you really wanted to free our kind, you could have gone through the barrier after you got one soul. Taken six souls from human and then freed everyone peacefully. But instead, you made everyone live in despair. Because you would rather wait here meekly hoping another human never comes. Tori, you're right. I am a miserable creature. But, do you think we can at least be friends again? <sighs> no, Asgore. <laughs> oh, poor dad goat man. Look at his face. Nyah! Asgore, human, nobody fight each other. Everyone's gonna make friends or else I'll... I'll... Hello, I am Toriel. Are you the human's friend? It's nice to meet you. Uh, yeah? Nice to meet you too. The Asgore, is that your ex? Jeez, that's rough, buddy. Uh, hey, nobody hurt each other. Uh, oh, are you another friend? I am Torio. Hello. Uh, hi. There's two of them? Hey, nobody fight anyone. If anyone fights anyone, then I'll be forced to ask a nine for help. Hello. Oh, hello, your majesty. Psst. Hey, human. Did Asgore shave and clone himself? Hey, guys. What's up? That voice. Hello. I think we may know each other. Oh, hey. I recognize your voice, too. I'm Toria. So nice to meet you. The name Sans. And, uh, same. 
Oh, wait, then... This must be your brother, Papyrus. Greetings, Papyrus. It is so nice to finally meet you. Your brother has told me so much about you. Wowee! I can't believe Asgore's clone knows who I am. This is the best day of my life! Hey, Papyrus. What does the skeleton tile his roof with? Hmm... Snowproof roof tiles? No, silly. A skeleton tiles his roof with... Shingles! I changed my mind! This is the worst day of my life! I can't even keep a straight face. Oh no! Come on, Asgore. It's gonna be okay. There are plenty of fish in the sea. Y yeah, Asgore. And I'm totally right about that fish thing. Sometimes you've just got to, uh, stop going after furry boss monsters and, uh, just get to know a really cute fish? Um. Hmm. Yeah, we all know Sans is a furry. Asgore is the king of furries. It's a metaphor. Well, I think it's a good analogy. Oh my god. Will you two just smooch already? The audience is dying for some romantic action. Hey, shut up! Man, the nerve of that guy. Right, Alphys? Uh, Alphys? No, he's right. Let's do it. <laughs> well, uh, I guess if you want to, then don't hold anything back. Smooch! Wait! Not in front of the human! Uh, right. S sorry I got a little carried away there. <laughs> My child, it seems as if you must stay here for a while. But looking at all the great friends you've made, I think... I think you'll be happy here. But, hey, that reminds me. Wait, sorry. <clears throat> Papyrus, you called everyone here, right? Well, besides, uh, her... Uh, anyway, if I got here before you, how did you know to call everybody? Let's just say, a tiny flower helped me. A tiny flower? No, 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 no. What? Flowey? You idiots! While you guys are having a little powwow, I took the human souls. And now, not only are those under my power, but all your friends' souls are going to be mine, too. <laughs> and you know what the best part is? It's all your fault. It's all because you made them love you. All the time you spent listening to them, encouraging them, caring about them. Without that, they wouldn't have come here. And now, with their souls and humans together, I will achieve my real form. <laughs> Huh? Why am I still doing this? Don't you get it? This is all just a game. If you leave the underground satisfied, you'll win the game. If you win, you won't want to play with me anymore. And what would I do then? But this game between us will never end. I'll hold victory in front of you just within your reach. And then I'll turn it away just before you grasp it. Over. And over, and over. <laughs> Listen, if you do defeat me, I'll give you your happy ending. I'll bring your friends back. I'll destroy the barrier. Everyone will finally be satisfied. But that won't happen. You. I'll keep you here no matter what. What? Flowey, you cheating bastard. Even if it means killing you one million times. No! What? Do not be afraid, my child. No matter what happens, we will always be there to protect you. Oh, she has hearts in her eyes. That's cute. Papyrus and Undyne. Body blocked. That's right, human. You can win. Just do what I would do. Believe in you. Hey, human. 
If you got past me, you can get past anything. So don't worry. We're with you all the way. Huh? You haven't beaten this guy yet? Come on. This weirdo's got nothing on you. Technically, it's impossible for you to beat him. But, but somehow, I know you can do it. Human. For the future of humans and monsters, you have to stay determined. Oh, whoa, everyone's here. Muffet! Uh, no! Unbelievable! This can't be happening! You! You! I can't believe you're all so stupid. All of your souls are mine! Finally, I was so tired of being a flower. Howdy, Atum, are you there? It's me, your best friend. Azriel, Dreamer. It's the end. Let's check. Infinite attack, infinite defense. Legendary being made of every soul in the underground. Jesus Christ, that's not fair. Whoa, the true final battle was finally beginning. Oh my god, your name is in rainbow. You held on to your hopes. You reduce how much damage you'll take this turn. Oh, that's pretty cool. Whoa, 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 whoa. Chill with the stars. Chill with the stars. Chill with the stars. No, 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 no. And it's cool, you know. Ooh, dodged them all, baby. Azure Charges, Shocker Breaker. Um, what do I do here? Do I fight you? Miss. You know, I don't care about destroying this world anymore. Whoa! Whoa! Ooh, ooh, did, 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 chill, 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 chill. Azrael calls on the Chaos Saver. Alright. Dream? You think about why you're here now. You can feel your inventory. Oh, hey! So it fills up my inventory. Activate the feature and gain total control of the timeline. I just want to reset everything. Oh, so that's how that works. Stay determined. But it refused. Nice. Okay, so I just got started over. Alright, so this is how I progress this. Alright, so let me read his dialogue box again, because I butchered it the first time I read it through. Ooh, 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 ooh. The big star. The big Getty star. <laughs> Alright, so what do I have in my inventory right now? Bunch of dog residues. Alright, so now I know how this stupid saber thing works. Alright, lightning. Dodge that, dodge that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, okay, that one hit me. Chaos Saber, here we go. Alright, let me see what kind of voice I'm gonna give you. Nope. Nope. Oh god. And it explodes in the middle. Okay. It's the end. Yeah. Alright. Look, doing this first thing in the morning sucks. 
Big star. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Okay. They're better dry. Your HP was maxed out. Ow. Oh, charge a shocker breaker. Okay. There's a dog salad in there. Yes. All your progress, everyone's memories. I'll bring them all back to zero. What are you, gold experience or golden experience requiem? I reset it all to zero. No, not again. Then we can do everything all over again. Oh, so this is what it's called, Star Blazing. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, good dodge. Chaos Buster. I really want to say that's no piece, but I don't care. I need that. You know what the best part of all this is? You'll do it. What? Holy Chaos Saver. Say he's the infinite god of hyperdeath. And then he loses to me again. Ooh. Alright, I'm getting it. Ready's the Chaos Buster. Let's hope here. And again. I shouldn't move there. Oh, my 1 HP! God, Jesus. I, I need to act. Dream. And again! Whoa! That's not fair! Think about why you're here now. You can feel the empty space in your inventory get smaller and smaller. Because you want a happy ending. Oh, why am I going to do it again and again, you mean? I went from star blazing to galactica blazing, so I'm guessing this dude's actually getting... What? How? Mm. Right, I'm gonna just wait till I finish Galactica Blazing before I start talking again. Chaos Slicer. Okay. Survive that one this time. Dreams came true. Because you love your friends. Holy. Oh, yo. Chaos Blaster. Chaos Blast! Because you never give up. Oh, it's this thing again. Hey. Whoa, why all the stars? A shocker breaker 2 again? Oh god, I do not have the health for this. I better hope. Reduce damage. Isn't that delicious? Your determination. The power that you get this far. It's going to be your downfall. <laughs> Hyper Goner? Now, enough messing around. It's time to purge this timeline once and for all. What? What? Oh, sweet Jesus. What is this monstrosity? I gotta dodge this? Do I gotta dodge these? I don't think so. I don't have a health bar. Just gotta make sure I don't fall in there. I think. Huh. Even after that attack, you're still standing in my way? Hmm. Wow, you really are something special. But don't get cocky. Up until now, I've only been using a fraction of my real power. Let's see what good your determination is against this!
Oh, sweet God, is that terrifying. All right, um, how am I gonna fix this? Can I even act? Like, is there, can I even hop off of this? No? Struggle, can't move your body. <laughs> Behold my true power. No, that's not fair, I have one HP, man. Ezreal blocks the way. Struggle, can't move your body. I can feel it. Every time you die, your group on this world slips away. Every time you die, your friends will get you a little more. Your life will end here in a world where no one remembers you. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. The whole world is ending. Struggle some more. Can't move your body. Still, you're hanging on. That's fine. In a few moments, you'll forget everything, too. That attitude will serve you well in your next life. Ow. One, two hit me. Okay. Whole world is ending. Let me struggle. <laughs> Still? Come on. Show me what good your determination is now. Okay, dodge these. Dodge those. Dodge that one. Oh, lordy. Nothing happened. You struggle. Nothing happened. You tried to reach your save file. Nothing happened. You tried again to reach your save file. Nothing happened. Seems saving the game really is impossible. But, maybe, with what little power you have, you can save something else. The save button? Oh, I could save my friends! Who cares about saving me if your friends aren't going to be there? Let's go, let's save uh, Undyne. You reached out to Azrael's soul and called out to your friends. They're in there somewhere, aren't they? Within the depths of Azrael's soul, something is resonating. The lost soul appeared. Hit her with a fake hit. You tap the lost soul lightly. Something about the way you fight is familiar to her. All humans will die! Alright, so that's not it. Clash? You clashed against the lost soul with all of your might. She feels your fighting spirit. It's familiar somehow. You're our real enemy. Okay. Maybe that's not it? The lost soul stands there. Smile? You gave the lost soul a big smile, like you remember she likes to do. Suddenly, the memories are flooding back. Well, some humans are okay, I guess. Hey! You feel something faintly resonating within Azrael. Let's save Alphys? In the depths of Azrael's soul, something is resonating. The lost soul appeared. Oh, it's Az it's uh, her from her date. Mm, let's encourage her. You tell the lost soul that you'll continue to support her. Something about the way you said that is familiar to her. You hate me, don't you? Oh, whoa, 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 chill, 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 No, 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 Metaton, 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 Metatoni, 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 Metatrino. Alright, so it's not encouraged. Quiz. You asked Lost Soul for help on a quiz question. She barely holds back from giving you the answer. I've got to keep lying. Alright. Not the quiz. Nerd out. Suddenly, the memories are flooding back. No, that's not true. My friends like me, and I like you too. Huh? Um, I want to save comparison stands for last. Toriel. Oh, Azzy's here. Mercy, you refuse to fight the lost soul. Something's about this familiar to me. Trey, on good. Forgive me for this. Yo, don't don't start teaming up on the attacks now, guys. Yo, 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 I need you to do me a, a solid. Hugger? her? You hug the lost soul and tell her that you're going to see her again. No one will leave again. Oh. Oh, whoa, whoa. Yo, 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 Don't do that. Don't do that. Reference? You tell the lost soul that you prefer cinnamon instead of butterscotch. Somehow, she faintly recalls hearing this before. Do I have to save one before the other? Is that the thing? Let's talk to you. Mercy. You won't hurt him, no matter what. Suddenly, the memories are flooding back. 
Your fate is up to you now. You're our future. Wait, whoop, sorry. Your fate is up to you now. You are our future. Okay, so I, I had to save him like that. Okay. That means I have to save the brothers in Paris too, huh? Sans and Papyrus. Mmm. He told the lost soul a joke about skeletons. He seems to hate it. The other soul seems to like it. I must capture a human. Just give up. I did. Oh, jeez. Alright, so this one would be a recipe. Or a puzzle. Puzzle, puzzle, puzzle. Help with the puzzle. He does not know why, but he really wants to help you. Then everyone will... Why even try? Ow. Oh, God, I hate these bones. Let's talk to you. Joke. Told the lost soul a bad so a bad pun about skeletons. Suddenly, the memories are flooding back. No way, you're my friend. I could never capture you. Nah, I'm rooting for you, kid. Your friend's souls are resonating within Nazriel. Someone else? Strangely, as your friends remembered you, something else began resonating within the soul stronger and stronger. It seems that there's still one last person that needs to be saved. But who? Suddenly, you realize. You reach out and call their name. Huh? What are you doing? Oh, look at baby Azriel. Feel your friend's souls resonating with an Azrael. I could save Azrael? What, what did you do? What is this feeling? What's happening to me? No. No! I don't need anyone! I'm not even gonna bother moving. Stop it! Get away from me! Do you hear me? I'll tear you apart! Let me win! Jesus. Stop it! Stop it now! Afraid of Tomb. A tomb. I. I. Aww. It's Azrael. I'm so sorry. I always was a crybaby. Wasn't I a two? I know. You're not actually a tomb, are you? What? A tomb's been gone for a long time. 
Um, what? What is your name? Brisk? That's a nice name. Brisk. I haven't felt like this for a long time. As a flower, I was soulless. I lacked the power to love other people. However, with everyone's souls inside me, I not only have my own compassion back, but I can feel every other monster's as well. They all care about each other so much. And, and they care about you too, Frisk. I wish I could tell everyone, or tell you how everyone feels about you. Pyrus, Sans, Undyne, Alphys, Oriel. Monsters are weird, even though they barely know you. It feels like they all really love you. <laughs> Risk. I... I understand if you can't forgive me. I understand if you hate me. I acted so strange and horrible. I hurt you. I hurt so many people. Friends, family, bystanders. There's no excuse for what I've done. I'm gonna forgive you, though. What? Frisk, come on. You're... you're gonna make me cry again. Besides, even if you do forgive me, I can't keep these souls inside of me. The least I can do is return them. But first, there's something I have to do. Right now, I can feel everyone's hearts beating as one. They're all burning with the same desire. With everyone's power, with everyone's determination. Time for monsters to finally go free. destroyed. Risk. I have to go now. Without the power of everyone's souls, I can't keep maintaining this form. In a little while, I'll turn back into a flower. I'll stop being myself. Stop being able to feel love again. So, Frisk? It's best if you just forget about me, okay? I'll just go with people- just go with people who love you. Buddy, you need a hug. You need a big hug. We'll never forget you, Asriel. <laughs> I don't want to let go. Then don't. Frisk. You're... You're going to do a great job, okay? No matter what you do, everyone will be there for you, okay? Time's running out. Goodbye. By the way, Frisk, take care of Mom and Dad for me, okay? Frisk. This is all just a bad dream. Please, wake up. Oh, you're awake. Thank goodness. We, we were so worried. It felt like you were out forever. Yeah, any longer and I would have freaked out. Tell us next time you decide to take a nap, okay? Yeah, you made Papyrus cry like a baby. 
What? I didn't cry. I don't cry. I just caught something in my eye. What did you catch? Tears! Now, now. The important part is that Frisk is alright. Here, Frisk. Why not drink some tea? It'll make you feel better. Uh, how will we give them space first? They must be very exhausted. Though, from what, I'm not certain. Frisk, we do not remember exactly what happened. There was a flower, and then everything went white. But now the barrier is gone. I just realized Toriel's pupils, or eyes, I guess, are in, kind of in the shape of hearts. It's pretty cool. But now the barrier is gone. When you are ready, we will all return to the surface. It seems like the door east will lead us there now. But before then, perhaps you might want to take a walk? You can say goodbye to all of your wonderful friends. Do as you wish. We'll all wait for you here. Let's talk to everyone. Howdy. Wait. <clears throat> Howdy, Frisk. Sorry about almost trying to take your, lo your soul. I was about to say life. Same thing. I feel very bad about it. I hope we can still be pals. Hey, don't worry about it, Asgore. I think everybody's tried to kill Frisk at least once. Oh, I see. In that case, I'm not sorry, Frisk. Asgore, that's not what I meant. Frisk, I just realized. Now that we aren't fighting at each other, I can finally ask you. Would you like a cup of tea? Would you like a cup of tea? Yes. Oh, well. Actually, the cup I had is cold now. So, you shouldn't have it. But, I am so happy you said yes. As soon as I can, I'll make some more for you. Then we can be great pals. Oh, Frisk. If you're not busy, on nice days, you should walk around and have a good time. That's important. And, uh, yep, 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 same thing. So it looks like they each have, like, three rounds of dialogue. Psst, Frisk. Um, you've got to tell me. Do, do you think Asgore and Toriel are, uh, ever going to get back together? As much as I wish they would, nope. Yeah, that's what I thought. A woman can dream, though, right? And write fan fiction. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. The Undertale fandom has you covered there. A lot of fan <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, this gets better and better. Even with age, that joke still has me dying. On second thought, maybe I won't write fanfic of real people. I mean, isn't real life already the greatest fanfiction of all? Mmm, I'm gonna say no to that one, fam. Uh, don't tell anyone I said that. Because I'm gonna post it online. I sure am excited to finally use the human internet. I bet they have all sorts of things on Dine and I can watch. Mm. They got some good old hentai. Oh man! We're gonna be able to watch anime online? Of course, Undyne. What do you think we've been fighting for all along? Yeah, what do you... Whoops. Jinx! I knew you were gonna make that joke. Wait, Alphys, I don't... I didn't know you knew Sans. Well, I... Doesn't everybody? Who in the hell is Sans? Who the... <laughs> Who the heck is Sans? Toriel? <laughs> that was such a character break. So, Alphys, what do you want to do now that we're all free? We have the whole world to explore now. Well, of course I'm gonna go out and... Hmm... No, I should be honest. I'm gonna stay inside and watch anime like a total loser. That's the spirit. Everyone, a celebration to being losers. Heh, <laughs> Papyrus has the right idea. Losing to Frisk is the best thing that ever happened to me. So I'm glad that we... Huh? What is it, Asgore? Um... What's an... Anime? Oh my god? Frisk, please. Help me explain what anime is to Asgore. 
you, you see, it's like a cartoon, but... With swords or with guns? I mean, if it's an isekai, it's gonna have swords. So it's like a cartoon, but with swords? Golly, that sounds neato. Where is this? Where can I see the anime? Uh, hold on, uh, I think I have some on my phone. Here, look at this. Oh, uh, um, that's the, uh, it's the wrong, uh, never mind. Golly, those two robots... Kissing? Boy, technology sure is something, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it sure is. Um, okay. Hey, Alphys! Alphys! Do you think we can watch some fighting next? Oh, and then something with princesses? Or fighting princesses? Uh, I'll see if I can manage to find anything like that, Undyne. Yay! Undyne is such a weeb. Hey, Frisk, why don't you go say hi to Napsta Bluke? Oh, tell them I said hi, too. Oh, yeah, we should go talk to Napsta. He's not here. So, Asgore. How about making me a member of the Royal Guard? Well, Papyrus, now that the war is over, we might not need the Royal Guard anymore. What? Then what was the point of this human's quest? They journeyed all this way, and I'm still not a member of the Royal Guard. Truly, this is the worst possible ending. <laughs> it seems like you really botched your quest, Frisk. But I, the Great Papyrus, will always be your friend. No matter how hard you try to get rid of him. Hey, that's true. Frisk, why don't you take a walk around? Frisk, why don't you fly? It's faster. Yeah, Frisk, why don't you fly? Hmm, flying sounds a little dangerous. But they can't fly. We have a jetpack. Not with that attitude. I mean, I guess. Hey, Frisk, what's that weird expression? Sans, did I tell you about the time Frisk flirted with me? And then asked me to call him me mother. Oh boy. Wow, Frisk. This really puts our relationship in a new light. Hey, Tori. Do you have any other embarrassing stories? Oh, do I ever. But I think that story is one of the most unbelievable. It is hard to think that anyone would want to flirt with me. <laughs> oh. I see Alphys as a thing for goats and fish. <laughs> oh, Toriel, you have no idea. <laughs> Sorry, I don't have time to talk, Frisk. I'm supposed to be working right now. But you aren't working! I know, and it's taking all my concentration. Oh, that's awesome. Hello, Frisk. Alpha's upgraded my phone. I'm having a lot of fun with the texting feature. Sans, check out this one. Oh man, Tori. That's brutal. I can't believe the queen has returned, and also that she's a huge dork. You two are two feet away from each other. Why are you texting? Are we not, Papyrus? We are texting for a good reason. Why is that? Well, because we're huge dorks. Sans, please do not say that. You are not a dork. You are more of a bonehead. <laughs> Wow! Those puns are even less funny coming from her. Then why are you smiling? It's a pity smile. Frisk, do not feel left out. I've been writing messages to you as well. You still have my phone number after all this time. Do you not? You never gave me your number. Wait, no, yes you did. I'm drunk. Jesus. I'm almost certain you must have made some more. Oh yeah, of course. Go ahead and save in the throne room. And we're just gonna magically fast travel through here to Navsabluk. Oh, so cool. I can actually talk to the people here and their dialogue's changed. Sorry, we aren't allowing any more guests at this time. Or ever again. Let's talk to Burger Pants. Take it from me, little buddy. So, we're free, huh? Metaton told us as much. And he told me. Don't think that means you're getting out of work early. Ah, my boss. I love that guy. And by that, I mean I hate him so, so much. Those girls? The ones who saw my pants fall down? <laughs> well, we're all gonna be free, so I'll never see them again, at least. 
don't tell anyone this, little buddy. Because they'll make fun of me. But I... I feel like I played a hand in everyone getting free somehow. Even if it was just working at this awful job. I think I did something. I don't know what if it's true, but I'll believe it anyway. Little buddy, there's a brand new world out there waiting for us. I'm sure with my <clears throat> qualifications. It won't be long before I'm a famous movie star. Or maybe I'll just end up flipping burgers again. But it's as I say, nowhere to go but up. Literally in this case. Oh, this is so cool. Anytime, little buddy. Alright, so instead of going straight to Napsta, I'm actually going to go talk to basically all the, sh the major storekeepers because they were actually pretty cool to talk to. They had the most dialogue. Yeah, check it out. Can I buy stuff from you? Oh my god, I can. You <laughs> should get Metaton to autograph from your butt. Freedom. So, like... We're totally free now, huh? Yeah, like, totally free. Like, cool. Yeah, like, cool. Like, millennia of being in prison finally over? Yeah, that's like pretty chill, I guess. I'm a human. Oh, oops, really? Uh, well, when we said, um... We were hyped for the destruction of humanity. We were just, like, joking, you know? Did we say that? Probably. It's like... Practically our catchphrase. Really? I thought our catchphrase was b b Braddy's the best, Kikaddy's the coolest. Um, no. We've like literally never said that. Can it be though? Can it be? Hmm, now that we're gonna be free. Oh my god, we can finally fill our dream of having a pet cat. That's like your dream, Caddy. But Braddy, I don't want to have a dream without you in it. Aw, Caddy. And in my dream, you clean up after the cat. <laughs> Caddy! Do you like cats? Me? Yeah, I love cats. Oh, they both love cats. They're like, so tasty. They're like, so cute. Oh my god. Tasty. Braddy, no! Um. That is some lewd stuff. We don't talk about that here. I'm just kidding. Kind of. Anyway. When was the last time you've even seen a cat around here? Oh, just the other day. There was this cute little white cat walking around, and it was like, so clueless looking. I pet it for like an hour. Caddy? Yeah, Braddy? I think that was like, a dog. Dogs are just firm cats. <laughs> Dogs are just firm cats. Oh, that's awesome. I've never actually seen this dialogue, so this is actually pretty cool. Alright, so we're going to just go ahead and jump cut to all the store shops. Oh, <gasps> I forgot about you! I'm so excited to sell nice cream on the surface. If all humans are like you, I think it'll be really popular. <gasps> Undyne told us that the Royal Guard is being disbanded. Like, bummer. Guess we'll have to go to get used to love and peace. He seems happy. Aw, oh, he's happy. Muffet, are you here? Please tell me you're here. I want to talk to you, Muffet. I demand to speak with you, Muffet. Muffet! Bonjour, dearie. I just finished tallying up all of our donations. We finally raised enough to rescue all the spiders inside of the ruins. And we'll also be able to afford four pairs of stylish heels for every spider. <gasps> oh. There you go, Muffet. Live in the dream. Get them, get them spiders them fancy heels. Gotta work it, baby. Work it. Mwahaha. <laughs> I knew you could do it. Fluffy buns. Why? Okay, okay. I remembered it clearly now. It was the monthly address at the castle and the queen was giving her part on current events. After finishing her update, she moved up to pass the microphone to the king. However, she didn't realize the microphone was still in her hands when she said, Your turn, Fluffy buns. The audience burst out into laughter. Realizing what she had said, she started laughing too. After a few moments, the king held up his arms. The crowd grew silent. He leaned towards the microphone, expression stern. Dear citizens, thank you for coming here today. I, King Fluffy Buns, and the rest is history. Is Asgore a goat? Eh? Goat? Actually, that reminds me. Toriel once wore a flower pattern Moo Moo. Folks kept saying nice Moo Moo to her, but she kept thinking they were calling her a cow. So she never wore it again. What was the question again? 
Oh, right, Asgore. He's a really interesting type of monster, the strongest type of all. We call them boss monsters. When they have an offspring, the soul power of the parent flows into the child, causing the child to grow as the parent's age. But Asgore doesn't have a child, so he's been stuck at the same age and probably will be forever. Huh? What if the child is a human? What? Nah, that wouldn't work. So if Asgore is your father, he'll definitely outlive you. Is Asgore a goat? Okay, no, so it's still the same thing. Okay, Asgore and Toriel. Oh yeah, of course, Toriel was the queen and Asgore was the king. It's tragic when she left, since everyone knew she was really the brains behind the throne. But it was really also just a teensy teensy bit relieving, you know? Those two are really insufferable together. Nuzzling noses, being all cute and cuddly in public, embarrassing their children. They were so sweet it made me sick. Thank God those days are over. Undyne, she's really come a long way since she was a little urchin. I used to be a hero myself back in the old days. Garrison, the hammer of justice. When she was younger, Undyne would follow me around to watch me beat up bad guys. Sometimes she'd even try to help. Though, most of the time, the folks she attacked weren't bad guys. It'd be the mailman or something like that. Anywho, I appreciated it. <laughs> That's awesome. Thanks, Garrison. Be careful out there, kid. There's something to be careful about now. Alright, let's go check out... Oh, Metaton's here. There you are, first darling. Feast your eyes, Dr. Alpha's completed my wonderful new body. Ooh, and did you hear? The barrier's open. I can't wait to see the sun. The greatest spotlight of all. Oh yes, I suppose I should thank you too. Before fighting you, I had forgotten how fun it was to perform with others. So I've been searching for hot talents to fill my upcoming troop. So far, Shiren's agreed to be my backup singer. And Blue Napster Luke here will be my sound mixer. The three of us performing together. It really feels over DJ Blukey. What? And Diane says hi? Tell her I say something cool. Human, I'll never forget when you cheered me on. When I was pretending to be asleep. No one ever had so much faith in my fake sleep. Uh, also, this is awkward, but what's your name? Everyone seems to know it now, except me. Seems like I've been missing out lately. I was just sitting in my room listening to tunes. There was a flash of light outside my window. I saw the snails in the farm disappear. Then I heard a knock at the door. A flash of light wanted to come in. I closed the blinds. Now everyone knows your name except for me. Chris. Okay. I won't forget it. That's cool, Blukey. I appreciate it. Let's talk to Groby. Good job. Oh wow, he actually says good job. It's just that's it. Monster Kid! Yo, what's up? I've been kinda doing some thinking. Maybe Undyne isn't actually as cool as we thought. She's just kinda mean. But yo, I just found out about someone way cooler. Yeah. <gasps> He's a fan of papyrus. That kid over there told me it's weird that I have a pet bunny. First, there'd be nothing weird about it. It's cute. Second, what? It's normal to walk your younger brother on a le- Whoa. I think Japan would like to have a word with you on a possible hentai plot in the future. Bunny girl walks her little brother on a leash. Is anyone else weirded out by those giant sh shambling amalg- <gasps> The amalgamates are loose? Excuse me? Where? I did not see the amalgamates. Okay, so I'm guessing they're just out and about. Hello, traveler. How can I help you? Here to chat? What happened? I mean, it happened to you, right? There was a strange flash of white light, and then I felt my body being pulled into something. Then suddenly, everything was back to normal. I heard that it was all because a human came through here. A human? I can hardly believe it. 
Or if they decide to stop in, I'll be sure to give them a hero's welcome. I'm right here. Did you hear? The ruins have been opened up. And get this. They were opened from the inside. Apparently, the queen had been staying in there for God knows how long. Pretty unbelievable, huh? Well, I suppose I'll move my store to the overworld. I haven't planned much more than that, I'm afraid. This is so cool. Bye now. Come again sometime. This is actually really cool that you can actually talk to every single monster you've encountered and see how their personality changes with the fact that they can actually be free. Like, a lot has changed now. Can I ding this? I think I saw a pun in there, but I don't really mind. Heh. <laughs> I guess we'll have to go up to the surface. There are woods there we can live in, right? Yeah, but not for long, unfortunately. Blame, uh the wood industry for chopping down trees. The spaghetti. It's lukewarm. Seems like something just tried get, eating it and just gave up. So somebody was eating papyrus spaghetti. Seeing as the spaghetti is still here somehow, I hereby donate it to the public. It's like a playground for your mouth. Yeah, <laughs> papyrus. All the settings say spaghetti. Knowing that the mouse might one day find a way to heat spaghetti fills you with determination. Oh, whoa. There's no algamate there. The doctor. She brought back my wife. She brought back from the dead. My son. He seems happy again. My family is bigger than ever. Now that my wife is combined with 16 other people. S no. We... Mom might have to share her mind with other people now, but she's still my mom. And that's cool. Cause, uh, we're made of ice and stuff. What? It's a joke. Laugh at it. Yellow names were nice for a while. Next time, we should try a relaxing shade of green. Did you ever find this room's fourth frog? Say... Now that your journey's over, maybe you'll have time to listen to me. Because most people just press X to skip through my dialogue. That's right, pressing X. You've really matured, haven't you? I listened to you the first time. Where's that fourth frog? It's in here somewhere, I remember it. You can talk to the wall. He's in a crack, hiding. There's an ant-sized frog in the crack in the wall. It waves at you. There it was. Looks like the cheese has a nibble taken out of it. <gasps> the mouse got the cheese! The exit's open. I guess I better roll out. Hey, you mind giving me a push, pumpkin? Hey, I'll push you all the way there, buddy. Aw, he won't let me push him. Oh, fudge. Glad to know this puzzle still works. Excuse me, human. You seem like you've grown into a thoughtful and conscientious person. Whether that was from my advice or not, I'm quite proud. Ribbit. There you are. Don't worry about me. No one has to take care of these flowers. Risk, please leave me alone. I can't come back. I just can't, okay? I don't want to break their hearts all over again. Better if they never see me. Why are you still here? Are you trying to keep me company? Frisk. Hey. Let me ask you a question. Frisk, why did you come here? Everyone knows the legend, right? Travelers who climb Mount Ebon are said to disappear. Frisk. Why would you ever climb a mountain like that? Was it foolishness? Was it fate? Or was it because you... Well... Only you know the answer, don't you? I know why I too climbed the mountain. It wasn't for a very happy reason. Frisk, I'll be honest with you. 
but Toom hated humanity. Why they did, they never talked about it. But they felt very strongly about that. You really are different from a tomb. In fact, I thought you have similar, uh, fashion choices. I don't think why... I don't think I... I don't know why I ever acted like you were the same person. Maybe the truth is, a tomb wasn't really the greatest person. While Frisk, you're the type of friend I wish I always had. But maybe I was kind of projecting a little bit. Let's be honest, I did some weird stuff as a flower. There's one last thing I feel like I should tell you. Frisk, when a tomb and I combined our souls together, the control over that body was actually split between us. They were the one that picked up their empty, that picked up their own empty body. And then when we got to the village, they were the one that wanted to, to use our full power. I was the one that was resisted. And then because of me, we, uh, that's why I ended up a flower. Frisk? This whole time, I've blamed myself for that decision. That's why I adopted that horrible view of the world. Kill or be killed. But now, after meeting you, Frisk, I don't regret that decision anymore. I did the right thing. If I killed those humans, we would have had to have waged war against all of humanity. And in the end, everyone went free, right? I still feel kind of sad knowing how long it took. So maybe it wasn't a perfect decision. But you can't regret your choices your, hard, your whole life, right? Well, not that I had much of a life left. But that's besides the point. Chris, thank you for listening to me. You should really go be with your friends now, okay? Oh, and please. In the future, if you, uh, see me, don't think of it as me, okay? I just want you to remember me like this. Someone that was your friend for a little while. Oh, and Frisk? Be careful in the outside world, okay? Despite what everyone thinks, it's not as nice as it is here. There are a lot of flowies out there. And not everything can be resolved just by being nice. Frisk? Don't kill, and don't be killed, alright? That's the best you can strive for. Huh? Well, see ya. Don't you have anything better to do? Yeah, here. Let's call your mom from here. Notice you received a text from Toriel. Dear Frisk, Sans and Alphys are trying teaching me how to text. I'm learning so much. For example, do you know what a smiley is? Please look at this. Now your turn to Now turn your head to the left. It is a picture of me smiling at you. Can you see it? LOL. That sounds for lots of laughter. Um... Not exactly, but okay. Sincerely, Toriel. That's all for now. Maybe in the next room, you'll receive another. I can't call Tor Toriel. Pick up your phone, woman. Uh, fine. Girl sent you a message. Dear Frisk, how are you? You've been wandering for quite some time now. I hope you're not getting into trouble. Only kidding, lol. Sincerely, Toriel. P.S. Do not get into trouble. Aw, goat mom. Excuse me, I did not mean to write sincerely. I meant to say... Sincerely. Oh, she spelled it wrong. It is difficult to use this with large hands. Perhaps I should ask Sans to transcribe for me. With his bony fingers? No response. Their phone might be out of batteries. Most likely. Yep, still no response. Sans will be typing from now on. Or I sent you a message. Hey, Frisk. It's Toriel. I just baked. W <laughs> I just baked a million pies. Do you want any? Make sure to brush your teeth before crossing the street, Frisk. <laughs> okay, Sans, you clown. Toriel has not sent any more messages. Oh, yeah, because I'm still in the same room. I did not say any of that. Greetings, this is Sans. I love my brother very much. Help, I'm being slandered. <laughs> oh, this is great. That That's a meme and a half. I sent you a message. This is Sans. First, did you know that I love to get owned? I also think that Toriel is very good in... 
Excuse me. <laughs> Cat video. Inside, she meticulously describes a video she saw of a small white animal. There is no link or attachment to watch it. Why, Toriel? Why? Toriel sent you a message. Forward. Send this to someone you care about, or a skeleton will rattle his bones at you. Oh, she's into the chain texting. Dang it, Tori. I thought they would have taught you better. Teach you better. Dear Frisk, though you might enjoy this. Thought you might enjoy this. It's an ASCII art of a snail. Aww. That takes way too long to do, but good job, Toriel. Dear Frisk, and Dining Papyrus wants to cook something together with me. Sans is telling me that they are excellent chefs. I am excited. Maybe if you are lucky, you can have some. Oh god. The three of them cooking. Dear Frisk, if Sans and I started a band, do you know what we would call it? Dreamer and the Femur. Mmm. Do not refer to me as Dreamer. I would never refer to you as Dreamer, but that is terrible jokes. Dear Frisk, Undyne is very strong. Papyrus made a bet with her that she could not lift everyone up here. She could. The only trouble is that she did not know how to put everyone down. <laughs> Dear Frisk, Alphys is telling me about many interesting facts about the human world. Quite a few of them are wrong, though. Frisk, you did not tell her anything funny, did you? I mean, anime is real. I don't know what you're talking about, Toriel. Dear Frisk, I heard that using the computer for too long is bad for you. However, I have not seen you use the computer at all. You must be very healthy. How nice. You were not saying anything about, uh, how much game time I put into this game. Dear Frisk, I think I may have to turn off the phone for now. Your friends are all very lovely people. I think I'll spend this time getting to know them better. Be good, alright? Sincerely, Torio. Alright, so that was, should be her last text message. So now I'm just going to go ahead and jump cut back to the end room. Now let me double check, make sure that there's no more. Alright, good. That's the last message, so... Jump cutting to the end. See you there soon, guys. Tra la la, beware of the men who came from the other world. Wait, who? I know the, the man who speaks in hands is supposed to be Gaster, WD Gaster, a character who we never see in the game unless you do some very specific save editing. I made actually a reference to him in, I think it was the last episode of Undertale, post credits if you guys saw that. But if you didn't, go watch it. It's a great little Easter egg thing that I put in the video. But yeah, um, man who came from the other world. I mean, that'd be an interesting way to reveal if you were actually in a safe file where you could meet Gaster, because there's a way to meet him. I don't think I'm in that kind of a save file, though. Or in that file. I'll explain it in, an, in a moment. Is there anything else that's changed out here? Nope. That's it. Dialogue's completed. Let's head on out, guys. If you leave here, your adventure will really be over. Your friends will follow you out of the underground. Let's leave. Oh my. Isn't it beautiful, everyone? Wow, it, it's even better than on TV. Way better. Better than I even imagined. Frisk, you live like this? The sunlight is so nice. And the air is so fresh. I really feel alive. Hey, Sans. What's that giant ball? We call that the sun, my friend. That's the sun? Wowee! I can't believe I'm finally meeting the sun. I could stand here and watch this for hours. Yes, it is beautiful, is it not? But we should really think about what comes next. Oh, right. Everyone? 
This is the beginning of a bright new future. An era of peace between humans and monsters. Frisk, I have something to ask of you. Will you act as our ambassador to the humans? Be the ambassador? Uh, hell yeah. Yeah, Frisk will be the best ambassador. And I, the Great Virus, will be the best mascot. I'll go make a good first impression. Pap pap Pappy? Papyrus? Chill out. Well, someone's gotta go keep him from getting into trouble. See you guys. Why are you walking that way? Man, do I have to do everything? Papyrus, wait! Hey, Undyne, wait up! Whoops. Uh, should I do something? Well, gotta go. It seems that everyone is quite eager to set off. Frisk, you came from this world, right? So you must have a place to return to, do you not? What will you do now? I'd rather stay with Toriel. She's cool. What? Frisk. You really are a funny child. If you had said that earlier, none of this would have happened. It is a good thing you took so long to change your mind. <laughs> well, I suppose. If you really do not have any other place to go, I will do my best to take care of you for as long as you need. Alright? Now, come along. Everyone is waiting for us. And that's our happy ending. I still wish we could have saved Azrael, but... All's well that ends well, guys. So, the thing I was going to mention about W.D. Gaster. W.D. Gaster is apparently the previous royal scientist before... Um... Before... Al Alphys. So... What you'd want to do is actually, you know, if you wanted to meet him, there's a specific type of game file you have to get into. Aw, oh, he even gets the hat. Nice. Papyrus. Nice. He's in his little car. Sands is on a bike. He even cuts him off. But yeah, so, with what I was mentioning about Gaster, if you're in a specific type of file, you can actually, um, you can actually interact with Gaster's followers. And Gaster's followers are very strange. They like to actually talk about what's going on, like, within Gaster and why people are, like, you know, things are going wrong, things are going haywire, the save files are all corrupted, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. Ends up being really crazy. Aww, Alpha's and Undyne. Smoocher, smoocher, smoocher. Aw, oh, the little smooch. <laughs> Max damage. Jesus, Undyne's laugh, laugh clapping just breaks the floor. But yeah, so, the thing with, uh, whatchamacallit, the thing with, um, Gaster is the fact that nothing has actually been explained about Gaster. I mean nothing has been explained I do literally mean that there's not much that we know about his backstory or anything about what he was doing as the royal scientist other than you know dealing with determination so then that mystery entry that I read out in the end of the episode was actually something that he wrote so that was about it 
So that's there, there's very little that we know about him. So now with that doing its thing, what a lot of people have been theorizing is that Delta Rune is what he was referring to in that particular entry. That Delta Rune is his experiment. So with that in mind, it's no nothing's been confirmed. Nobody knows. But it's an interesting, you know, thought experiment. So, with that in mind, a lot of people are like, oh, well, we can do theories and wait for a gaster game, etc., etc. I'm still waiting on more Deltarune episodes. I might play Deltarune myself as a Let's Play in the future. Do that to me. I mean, we haven't even done the special thanks yet. Ready? Let's end all of this for good. Oh. Alright, you see, there's an there's a thing that you get for dodging all these, I think. I'm gonna try dodging them all. One attempt. Mm. Mm. Just moving an infinity sign, come on. Yeah. Oh what the oh I goofed it up. I already goofed it up. I already goofed it up. Doesn't matter. It does not matter. How would I even do this? How would I even do that? Oh my. Oh my god. Oh my god. You gotta do this perfectly. And you gotta like do that right here in the middle. I think you get like access to a secret room. If you manage to get through all those without touching a single name. Whatever. I don't care now. So I'm gonna just let it do this thing now. <laughs> But yeah, um, that's pretty much it. That's it. Undertale is now over. This is just a special credit, so I'm going to let it do its thing. But it's honestly been one great ride. I love playing through this game every once in a blue moon just to enjoy it. The music is lovely. The characters are always memorable. Man, you can never forget people like Papyrus or Sans or Undyne. The characters have so much personality that it is actually impossible to forget how they are and then you know the fandom while questionable in some instances are usually very endearing and you know they, they've done some amazing works like theories about gaster and sands and papyrus and how the they interact and now you know they've created their own universes under fell swap fell uh you know time fell all these other different versions of Undertale that exists and it's gorgeous. So, with that in mind, you know, it, it's a growing and loving community, at least as far as I know. So, it's awesome. And this game, I just love it. So, I will definitely do more stuff in this series for Delta Rune in the future. And then maybe one day I'll do the other playthrough, if I feel like doing that one. But other than that, guys, that is it. Aw, thanks, Goat Mom. And that's it, guys. That is the end of Let's Play Undertale. So if you liked today's episode, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. I don't know what will be taking Wednesday's spot yet, but something will be happening next Wednesday. And that'll be the beginning of a brand new Let's Play. On that, guys, I will catch you all here next time. I hope you all have a great and wonderful day. If you liked today's episode, leave a comment down below. Hit that thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. And I will catch you all here next week. I hope you all have a great and wonderful day.